Hello, I'm Andre Mihaly. I'm service engineer in the PyR team. And in this screencast, I'd like to demonstrate some useful features related to application deployment and management of multiple versions of the same application. We'll start with the simplest scenario of uh, deployment of our new application on the uh, PyR server. We will use a admin command. With uh, deploy commands, uh, followed by the path to our application uh, package. We can list uh, the de deployed applications with the list applications, and we will see that there is one application called Web App. And it's a web application. We can see that also in administration console. The application is already running. Uh, sometime later, you might have a new version of the application and you want to replace uh, the old version of the application running on the server. You can do that either by command read deploy or deploy with force option and we will deploy our new version of the application this will cause that the, the old version of the application gets removed from the server and it's overwritten by the new version of the application so there is still only one application called web app but when you reload the page you see there is a new this is a new version of your application. However, you might want to leave the old version of the application on the server as well as deploy the new version of the application. This is possible with PyR server when you use versioning of your applications. Instead of force option to deploy, you can supply name option and the value of the name should start with the name of uh, the application which is already deployed followed by colon and the version of your application so we will deploy the new version of the application under uh, RC1 version tag We can see that the new version is already active. We can list the applications and we see that there are already two applications with the same prefixed web app but only the second one has a version RC1. To see which application is really active you need we need to use show component status command with asadmin followed by the name of the application and if we want to list all the versions of the application we can provide uh, asterisk as a wildcard so we see that uh, the old version is disabled and the new version is enabled we can see that also in administration console Now, uh, maybe we don't want the new version to be enabled by default. So what do we do? We have an option to turn off uh, enabling uh, the deployed version of the application with enable equals false. Uh, what is missing? Built. and now we can list the status of the components and we see that uh, RC2 version is deployed but it's not enabled uh, what is enabled is the previous version of the application we can enable the new version of the application by assigning command enable R 
C2. And now RC2 version got enabled and RC1 got disabled automatically. It is true that uh, only one version of the application can be enabled at a time. And once uh, a version of the application is enabled, the other version gets disabled automatically. Now we might uh, come to the point when we tested our release candidate versions, we want to deploy a new version, new, new major version of the application. This time, just to demonstrate it, we'll, we'll use administration console. We'll provide path to the application work archive. And what we need to do is to provide name of the application with the version tag. That's it. After the, the application is deployed, it gets enabled because we did not specify we don't want to do that. And now, without any restart, there is a new version of the application. Come back to the console. Uh, we might want to undeploy all the release candidate versions. We will use uh, undeploy command with the name of the version, but we might use it also with asterisk wild art. And this command will uh, this command means that we will undeploy all the versions which start with RC, which is what we want now. What remains is the original version of the application and the new major version 2.0. 2.0 is still active. If we want to get back to our old version of the application, we need to enable it and the current version will get disabled automatically. We can as easily come back to our new version of the application. And now, provided that this was only a test environment, we successfully tested the new version of the application and want to clean the environment, we may undeploy all the versions of the application simply providing asterisk as a version number. This way, there is no application for web app. We can see that also in admin console. So this is it regarding uh, versioning of the applications. I hope you found it useful and I hope you will have a chance to use it in your future deployments. Goodbye.